In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our new make.com integration that allows you to connect your chatbot to over one and a half thousand different apps. So the first thing you'll need to do is to go and get yourself an API key, which you can find by going up to the top right, click account and then click generate new key. Then you can copy that key and that's what we're going to use to join make.com uh, to Fastbot. And then you'll click connect just here and then add that API key and then off you go, you're connected. So once you have connected your uh, Fastbot's account to make.com, you'll be able to just click on the plus symbol here. I'm in scenarios and then you'll be able to just find Fastbot's there. And we have two different things that you can do with Fastbot. So the first thing you can do is you can take your inbound generated leads and then send them to wherever you would like. So I'm just going to click that one. I'm going to uh, click my lead generated and then I'm going to click OK. So that's the first thing that will happen is we will pick um, a lead. And then also what we can do, if we just click add there, we can choose the chatbot from our account that we would like the inbound leads uh, to come from. So I'm going to pick this one, car subscriber. That's one of our chatbots. And I'll just show you down here. There it is. There's the chatbot. And then in a moment, what we'll do is we'll actually generate a, a lead from that chatbot and I'll show it the process taking place. So now what I want to do, one, when that chatbot has just taken in a new lead, I want to add it to a spreadsheet. So I've gone over to here. I've already connected my Google account. And this time I'm going to go to just down here where it says add a row. Then, um, I've, as I say, I've already connected my Google account. So now all I need to do is choose the spreadsheet. And I've got one that I've prepared right now called car subscriber leads. There we go. Just takes a second and then we'll choose the sheet within that particular uh, Google sheet. We can say whether or not it's got headers at uh, this one does not have any headers at the moment. And then we'll pick the column range A to Z. And then what I'll do now is choose which of the data that comes from that uh, lead generation form goes into here. So the first one I'm going to use in the A column is going to be the name. Then the second one you can see over here, I'm just clicking on these like this and then I'm going to click contact. And then finally in D, I'm going to click the message that comes through in the form. And that's it. So now that form is ready to start receiving any leads um, that have been generated from the chatbot. So what I'll do now is I'll just click run once just to demo this and then we'll go to the website with the chatbot on, which is just here. And then we've got our lead form right there. So I'm just going to fill this out quickly and then uh, just add in the details here. And then I'm going to put a message in here just saying, um, yeah, OK, so when can someone speak to me, please? There we go. Click submit. That's it. The form has gone in. And then if we go back over to here, you'll see that this is lit up now and it has sent that data through to the Google Sheet. So we'll just make sure that that's happened. Let's go over to the sheet. And sure enough, there it is. We've got our name in the first um, column there, the email address in the second, the contact number in the third, and then finally the message there that the person has sent right there in the fourth column. So that works really, really smooth and easily. And so that's the first thing that you can do. And of course, instead of using Google Sheets, you could be using your favorite CRM, such as Get Response or Active Campaign or any of the uh, different CRMs that are integrated with make.com. So now I'm going to show you the other thing that you can do with Fastbots and Make, and that is to send a message to your chatbot. And so uh, what I'll show you here is a Google form. So this is what we're going to have. Pretend that somebody fills in this form and the contents of this form will go to our chatbot, which will then create a response and then email it. So a nice, simple make integration. Now, here's my chatbot. And this is where having multiple chatbots in your account can be really good because you can create chatbots trained on all of your data as normal. 
but they're tuned to do different things. So this chatbot is tuned to write an email. And you can see right here, it says, I want you to act as a skilled sales advisor and provide a response to a person's question in the form of an email that helps with their problem and guides them to sign up with fastfunnels.com. So this is very tailored to just emailing. Um, and what we'll need to do is just go to make and set this up. So the first thing we want to do is to say, OK, let's go and grab a new form entry from Google Forms. So I'm going to search for Google Forms. There it is. And then we're going to look out for responses just here. I'm going to click watch responses and then make sure that my uh, connection is good and I'm signed up here. I'll just move that into the window. There we go allow and now we've allowed make to uh, go into our account effectively now it says the first thing you'll want is the form id and i'm going to show you how to get that right now if we go to uh send there we are and then just click the link the id of the form is what comes after this part so it looks like if i just take that i'm gonna this is a bit of a a bit of a fiddle way of doing it but nevertheless, this is how we have to do it. So I'm going to copy that part of the URL, put it in here. That's the form ID. And then I just click OK. And there we are. So it will be one of these. It's this one here. Fast Funnels New Customer Inquiry. Brilliant. And then just click OK. And so from now on, any new entries that come in uh, will go into here. And now we're going to connect it to FastBots. And we're going to click send a message. And then it's just going to authorize. We're going to pick our chatbot. And mine was the FastFunnels email support chatbot. And the message will come from here. So I'm going to put in a few different things. So I'm going to put in the first person's name. So um, person's name. And then I'm going to put this. There we go. And then I'm going to put um, the next thing, which is what do you want to build with fast funnels? And then that will be here. We'll just click that answer. Then the next thing that we'll do is we'll go for this question. What is your niche? And then we'll put that answer in there. And then finally, we'll do this one. What do you want to achieve? And then we'll put that answer just there. There we go. So that's what's going to be sent to the chatbot in the prompt. And then we'll just click OK. And that's it. So there we are. That has now uh, done it. So when the form gets filled in on Google, it gets sent to the chatbot. The chatbot replies and it will incidentally appear in here in your chat history as well. So you can keep an eye on this stuff, even though we're using make, it will still do that. So the next thing we'll want to do is send that chatbot's response somewhere. So I'm going to attempt to connect it up to Gmail. Here we go. So send a new email. And it's just going to load up and then we're going to click subject. Uh, let's just put let we could use one of these here. We'll just put um, first name. There we go. We'll put the person's first name from the form and then just put um, response. There we go. Then the content itself, that's going to be coming from Fastbot. So we'll put the message content in there. So that's the reply from the chatbot right there and then I'll just click OK oh and I'm going to add a recipient here as well and of course if I wanted to I could now put the person's email address in here um, the respondent email and then this email would go to them but of course just for this example here I'm going to put it so it goes to me every time there we are click OK and that's done now so there's the process then if we just drag this over a little bit the form gets filled out, sent to your chatbot. Your chatbot comes up with a reply, sends it to Gmail and Gmail sends it to the person. So a really good system here for like inbound leads and working those leads. 
but this is just really to demonstrate um, the sending message capability of uh, FastBots. You can use this with any combination of anything that is on Make. So what we would do now then is we would click um, Run Once and we'll just leave that there now and it's going to wait for a, a form to be filled out. So I'll go ahead and fill it out. Let's just put in here info at um, yeah, we can no, we'll put info at fastfunnels.com. There we are. First name David. Let's just put that. And then phone number. We'll put any number in there for the moment. What do you want to build with um, Fast Funnels? I would like to build a membership area for my gym members to access additional fitness training. There we go. What's your niche? I'll put um, gym. Uh, and then I'll put uh, health and fitness. There we go. What do you want to achieve with your new website? I would like my gym members to access extra training when the gym is closed so they can never stop working out. Full stop. There you go. Uh, so now I'm going to submit that form like that. And that has now gone to Make, and Make is just going to keep an eye out. You can see that it's uh, watching responses. I'll, I'll manually do it right now. So the form contents have already been sent to FastBots. FastBots is now developing a reply, and then it will send that reply straight through to Gmail. And then Gmail will email the response to me in this case, but of course it could be to the person who filled out the form. So now if we go and check my email, it should be there all ready to go. There it is. And you can see it's got David, the person's first name, response. Uh, thank you for reaching out with your interest in fast funnels. Creating a secure membership area for your gym members is a fantastic way to keep them engaged and motivated, even when the gym is closed. And that kind of demonstrates that the chatbot has read that incoming form and is developing a customized response that is likely to get the best results. Uh, just down here as well, it says our platform allows you to securely host workout videos, ensuring that only your paying members have access. Uh, this will give you the opportunity to explore our features and see how they benefit your gym business because we're asking to go and take a trial and then if you have any further questions and so on. So the email itself has not been formatted uh, perfectly, but I'm sure we can do that no problem um, within Make. And that just shows you how you can use FastBots with Make to use that chatbot to come up with an intelligent answer, or in this case, email, to send someone who has filled out a form. And of course, there's so many other uses for it too. But if we go to our chatbot's history and just refresh it, there you go. You can see in, in here is the response just there. And then um, I want you to build this with fast funnels and so on and so on. And then there is the response all nicely formatted here. So I say you just have to make that happen within make.com. I'm sure that's not, not an issue. And it's given a really good comprehensive response. And your bot has just, you know, become so uh, multifaceted now. We've got all of these different integrations here, more coming. And you can just use that intelligent chatbot that's trained on all of this information here to provide brilliant responses, whether that's via email, via message, however you want it to do, even to create social media content um, using all of your uh, information that you've uploaded to it and you've trained it with. So that's it. That's the demonstration of the Make integration. Really hope you like it. And uh, if you have any problems at all, then please go to fastbots.ai forward stroke support and they'll be able to help you further.